Hello from Slovenia again. Sorry, you saw my <laughs> walking around because I'm still playing with this, you know, picture in picture thing. And today I will try to do again this reverse colander pour kind of, but I will do just puddles on top here. So, uh, and because when I experiment, I kind of like to use those three almost primary colors. So I will use Cerulean Blue by Artist Colors, uh, Permanent Red Violet Amsterdam and Artist Colors Cadmium, Cadmium Yellow Dip and I have my Pearl White Mix pearl white mixture and I will just pour a puddle and a little bit of pearl white and maybe my paint is still too thick I thought that I mix this paints a little more on the thinner side, but obviously not. I'm so used to work with um, thick consistency, so I'm really curious how this will work because I don't see anything. So you can call this a surprise pour because you don't see anything. I will not add pearl white in this round in between every color so I will go just with all three. I forgot to add my yellow at the beginning so I don't know. Okay now it is what it is. So this will probably take some time so I will just fast forward you for this part. I will just randomly pour, you know, all those I will do with pearl white layers in between every one of them and not in every one of them. So, see you in a bit. So, I will just grab this, uh, I will wait just a second more maybe, and then I will grab this, um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Col colander and put it on this small, I have this one is uh, 12 by 12 inch round and I have this um, 8 inch round probably. Okay, let's do that. Put this here. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. I will just grab a skewer and try to do kind of, you know, these patterns like uh, for a 3D flower or something. And I will go 
through those towards the um and why i chose those colors for this um, experiment because i knew that um, they will mix quite a lot you know because of this technique um, hmm. that's why i thought that will be the best to use kind of just three kind of primary colors for this technique because I was afraid to get a lot of mud out of it so and I will now go towards this side because I don't like to have those worms kind of thing here and I think that it will be just okay if I break them a little bit okay my worms are not here anymore now I have to look at my center because you know it will stretch out so okay and I will remove my other little one I have enough paint so and maybe I will just torch it real quick Maybe I will add a little, little, little flow extender around because I don't want to lose all of this uh, pattern on the, the outside or how can I say so. I will just add a little water to my pearl white and pour it just one. circle around for you know flow extender just in case okay so are you ready let's spin this not a lot I did still get some weird color but I'm glad that I used those colors because otherwise probably I would have a lot more mud one more spin Okay, and I'm done. So interesting. With this one, so we have a little one. Let's see what happened with the little one. I will put this one aside. Have to grab some cups. And I will put this one here. I really like it so put the small one let's see it's not a lot underneath so
let's look. <laughs> As I thought. So let's pour some pearl white on this. And just try to till that around. Probably there will be nothing. There is a lot of paint left, but obviously it wasn't. Let me cover this first. Okay, and now I will just try to till this one beside to the scratches and have a lot of negative space. And I will don't get more. And now I see a bird. Okay, so we Let's give it just a little more movement, maybe. Okay. You can see this paint underneath, so. No, I almost forgot that I have another paint in there, so. I can do that, though. Ruin another one if I really like. So here is the first one. I have to say that I really, really like it still. Next time I should use maybe different shades of maybe some magenta and yellow and phthalo blue or cyan blue but I like it and <laughs> the little thing A lot of negative space but I think that it's interesting with this pearly look cloudy look so tell me what you think about this do you think that this is the is better idea to do puddles than just pour straight pour or ring pour i like the center a lot so this is it for today and see you on the next one bye